You mean we're not done with this game? Man! Welcome back, everyone, to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. This, my friends, will be Reverse Rebirth. We're gonna play as Riku, guys. It's gonna happen, and it's gonna start right now. Hell yeah. Now, I really wanted this Let's Play to be over, don't get me wrong. I said it so, very much so, in the finale. The Sora finale, we'll call it. But... It would be against my nature to play an RPG game that I want to know the story of and not finish the story parts of the game. So, let's do it. I, I really want to play as Riku. That's like a big thing for me too. I, you don't get too much, you don't get to play as Riku too often. Barely at all, if ever. Anyway, let's turn all the shit on and let's do it. It's like starting a whole new game, guys. It's like starting a whole new game. Now, if we play Utada again, I swear to Buddha. Give me something new. Give me a new opening scene. That'd be pretty cool. Like, it'd be really cool if you give me, like, a cool 3D, full-on animated FMV music video of something different. Nope. Straight on to Riku. Alright, are we starting right where we left off in Kingdom Hearts? The original? Let's find out. You good there, Riku-chan? Where am I? Stay asleep. Huh? Who's there? Who's that? Who there? You should remain asleep. Here, between light and dark. Between what? Like oh. between worlds, maybe? Huh? The no? king. Where's the king? Together we close the door to darkness. After that? You came drifting here by yourself. You did not have the strength to overcome the darkness. Or, maybe you were close to it. <laughs> As if I'm some kind of demon. <laughs> Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. But... But Yu-Gi-Oh! is forever! I mean, cards! It is a door to the truth. Take it and your sleep ends as you take the first step toward the truth. But know this. The truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? Uh, There duh. is no return to the security of sleep. Also remember, the truth sets this people like free. a boring place to take a nap anyway. That was very well said, Riku. Anyway, okie day then. Now what? Uh, oh shit, we're we're here? Uh, we're here. Uh, Guess where here is? Man, I gotta go through this place all over again. Ugh. Ugh. UGH, man. A door to the truth, huh? Awesome. We don't even have to start with Twilight Town. Or not Twilight Town. We don't have to start. We basically gonna work our way backwards through this place or what? Hollow Bastion goes first? This should actually be pretty cool. I'm I'm a little bit down with how this is gonna go. So, okay. Let's go ahead and make note of this right now. So I know... I, I get that we have to go back through all the floors. Look, we're on the basement 12th floor. I get it. We have to go backwards through all the goddamn floors. You know what? I don't need any of these old saves anymore, do I? Let's just start at the top. Um, yeah, we definitely don't need these early, early, early on saves. They really are pointless at this point. Um, so, anyway, what was I trying to say? I was trying to say something that was very profound, very important. Not really. Um, what I was going to say is, even though there's going to be story tidbits and boss fights and whatever the hell else is different about this playthrough with Riku, 
My plan is to still abridge this out as much as I can, meaning anytime we start having to go through a bunch of rooms and just fight, I'm going to skip all that shit and just show the cutscenes and everything. This is going to be a very abridged playthrough. I really don't want to have to do a ton of episodes just because I spent a bunch of time fighting battles and I just, I don't want it to be that way. So what I will likely do a lot of the time is we'll do like a whole area in one episode because I'll just do only the cutscenes and nothing else. But I, obviously to kick this off, we're going to show everything because I want to show whatever the hell Riku's capable of. We don't even know yet. We don't, haven't even learned shit. We haven't gotten any cards. We don't even know how to fight yet. What's the difference between him and Sora? Let's find out. And let's find out while we go to Hollow Bastion. Something tells me we probably won't get through all of Hollow Bastion in this first episode. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It all depends on how much there is to do here. Will there be a boss fight? I am very low on health and all that, so something tells me it won't be too difficult, whatever we're about to face. But it will be new, however. And after I go through a bunch of rooms and fight stuff, I'm going to at least show it. I'll probably at least show all of Hollow Bastion no matter what, because we haven't played as Riku yet, and we want to learn the mechanics and how much different he is than Sora. Anyways, this is Hollow Bastion. What you see is not real. It's the world of your memory. My memory? The things you remember from your time at Maleficent's castle became a card, and that card made this world. You've seen everything here before, haven't you? Yeah? So what now? Am I gonna learn something? Maybe meet someone? You would meet the people in your memories. Ordinarily. What does that mean? Hey, I'm asking you a question. Lame. Fine. But it had better be you I run across next, voice. Well, the fact that there's even a voice at all makes me think for sure we're going to meet whoever's behind that voice at some point. I actually don't recognize that voice as somebody I know, but it probably is. is I just don't remember. Either way, I'm sure we'll find the source of the voice someday. Someday. Until that day... We move on, shall we? Hollow Bastion, here we are all over again. So, how does this work? We haven't even made a deck. Is it just gonna automatically give us a deck? Oh shit, Riku and his fucking bitch ass awesome fucking Batwing Sword. Let's try out an enemy battle, here we go. Alright, so we've got Batwing Swords. He pretty much has the same setup as, as Sora. I'm not going to go slights yet, I'm just going to go regular attacks first, just kind of get the feel for it. Just get the feel for it. Also, we're going to grab everything when it comes to all the things. Oh, well, that was it. I didn't realize I had already used all my shit. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't even want all that shit, man. Look, we already went up a level. Hell yeah. Eight shit. Yeah. Level up for the win. Well, the main mechanics seem to be exactly the same. By the way, his HP is pretty low. I'm actually very tempted to go HP. AP? Wait, what? AP? The hell? Uh... I don't know what that means. And what the fuck is darkness? Okay, this is very different. I'm going HP. My HP is very low. I don't want it to be that low. I may rotate my stats a little more normally in this playthrough with Riku then. Instead of just going all on CP like you do with Sora. Which the CP doesn't seem to be a thing. Okay then. Let's try out one of his, a slight. Well... Slight, but whatever. Fine, don't try out shit, because why would I want to try shit out? That's Trying shit's boring. Don't bore me with your shit trying. There probably is slights. You probably have to unlock them, or you know, learn them, or whatever, just like you did with Sora. Alright, so I, I think what's happening is I'm automatically recharging as soon as I run out of cards. Also, he's going up levels fast. I don't remember Sora going up levels as fast. It might be more important in Riku's playthrough, though. Go up levels fast first. Yeah, it looks like as soon as we get to the dark, we're just recharging. That's good. That's good stuff. Alright, well, I'll take it. Get the fuck you, you bitch-ass flying whore. Don't play me, son. Don't play me. Alright, well, I'm not sure what AP is for yet, but I'm thinking... Let's go for it? I don't know. I'm gonna rotate it. Just for the sake of not knowing. We'll just rotate it. We'll go HP next time. His HP is just so low. If I had this low of HP the whole time with Sora, I wouldn't have lasted two goddamn seconds. But it seems to me he's like a little stronger. I don't know. It's hard to say that because 
We just started and we're fighting enemies. Even though we're fighting enemies that were annoying as Sora, they're a lot easier right now because we're just starting off. And I like his, I like, kind of like his little dodge flip, even if it is a little, uh, was it un disorienting when you use it? Just a little bit. Own. Another level up. Dang, man. Level ups for days already. Okay, won't let me go up AP again. I'll keep that in mind, I guess. Level up AP when you can. I think that might be what you're supposed to learn. Is that you should level up your stats when you can and not assume that you can do it all the time. Also, I am confused all of a sudden. Not cool. That would not be cool. Alright. Definitely going to fight everything since he's going to level up fast here in the beginning. And uh, I'm already getting to the point where unless something new starts, cool and new starts happening, I will probably just cut to the door of beginnings. So... Well, let's finish off this battle first, and we'll uh, start doing that. Cause you guys know how this works. I'm gonna make an. I'm gonna make a room. We're gonna go into the room. We're gonna fight more enemies. And if there's new enemies or something cool that happens other than level ups, I'll show it. And otherwise, we'll meet you at the door beginnings. Bridge the fuck out of the rest of this fucking playthrough. I really want to. I don't want this fucking LP to be like another 29 episodes. I really, really am trying to avoid that at all costs. I don't want to be doing this game for another month. But I mean, for the rest of this month, that's fine. But for a whole nother month? No, thank you. So that's the plan. I'll try and get through this before we do it for a whole nother goddamn month. Can that fucking thing stop shooting me and confusing me? You're ruining my day, thing. I don't like it. I don't know if I can destroy that thing, but I'm going to watch out and try not to get hit by it, damn it. Alright. Hey, 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 hey! I'm trying to hit this guy. Thank you. I don't even care. Just get him. Just engage the battle already. Fuck your wizard asses. Fuck your wizard asses. Get all the XP you can. Yes, yeah, right, big armor fuck. Man, I can't admit. I'm fucking magic man. Fucking. Ah! Alright, screw it. I'm gonna go fucking combo on his ass. There we go. Fucking comboed on his ass like a pretzel filled with cheese, baby! Damn right. Combo on your ass. Fuck your shit, son. Glad Riku has pretty good defense, because otherwise I should be getting wrecked right now. Ah, fucking, I hate these little dark nut fucks. Alright, from here on, we cut! Or we, lo we level up first. Alright, we can go AP again. Alright, now we cut! Okay, here we are at the door that requires the key to beginnings, and we shall do exactly that. Key to beginnings, here we come. Let's see what the first cutscene here in Hollow Bastion is when you play as Riku. These are the only things that I really want to show, so let's check it out. Oh, uh, everything is just how I remember it, even this room. It must be nice being back in your old bedroom. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but these memories I could do without. Maleficent gave me this room. So she did. And you lived here, tempted by the darkness she offered. You cast away your home, your friends, everything. But at least they gave you a nice room. That's fucked up. Stop talking! Get out here, I'm not done with you you son of a bitch all right i'll meet you at the next room because obviously you already know how this works we're just going to go through a few rooms and buchaka buchaka door of guidance here we come all righty the key to guidance make yourself useful but first a green you can have that we don't have any friends to have friend cards with right now anyways so therefore the friend magic card completely useless to me all right, what do we got behind door number two in this place? We have another room. Oh, this room, okay. No one here either. There's nothing but Heartless in this castle. Boring, boring, the old man is snoring. Voice! I know you're watching, so explain this. Where are the memory, or the people from my memories? Do you want to see them? Of course I do. But you cast them aside. What? You dreamt of the outside world and you passed through the door to darkness. Behind you, you left family, friends, home, everything all in pursuit of 
I damn it. But I cast that aside too. I didn't mean to click the X button. And what do you have to show for it? First your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to cast away. Tom Hanks, it's empty, like that room. Like your memories, that's why you don't meet anyone. Your heart is hollow, except for the residual darkness. You're wrong, I rejected the darkness. <laughs> Did you really now? So you thought, alright, I will meet you, I guess, at the Key to Truth room, because yay, four rooms. Alright, key to truth time, baby. Key to truth, baby, 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 baby. Wait, have I showed you guys the map, like, at all? Anyway, this bottom room right here was the key to beginnings. This was the key to guidance, and this is the key to... It's straightforward. I don't really need to show all that shit, but I don't know. I just feel obligated to show at least once. Anyway, level 5 card. You can have the almighty darkness card, bro. Skiness. Let's finish up Hollow Bastion in the first episode. Like I said, I probably wouldn't, but we are. Assuming this is still the first episode. I think it is, but... Hard to say for sure at this point since it took a while to get through this place. Oh, looky, looky who it is. I knew you would return, Riku. Maleficent, you're alive? You haven't been paying attention. I am but a figment of your memory. Of all the people I could run into, it had to be you. But of course, after all, your heart is steeped in darkness. You can only see those who exist in that same darkness. No. Be grateful you have someone to keep you company. Your heart is empty. Were it not for the darkness it contains, you would be completely alone. That's sounding pretty good right about now. Come now, you once turned me to sate your hunger for darkness. Turn to me. You want me here. Who? But I, I can grant you the darkness you long for. There was a time I did want you around. I surrendered my heart to the dark. But never again. You and your darkness have nothing to offer. Suck off, ho. All I did was lose myself. Empty myself. I'm finished with all of that. If I'm stuck seeing people like you, people of the dark, then I'll take you out one by one. Oh shit, son. Fuck off, easy. Then you mustn't forget to destroy yourself last. For like me, you are one of the dark. That's fine with me. I'll, I turn to darkness because my heart was weak. I hate that weakness. It's like I'm my own, men, my own enemy. And seeing people like you embrace the darkness just makes it worse. Enough talk, Maleficent. So you hate the darkness enough to fight it. Oh, the agony you must feel. Then let me in your pain, Riku, end your pain, Riku, end it forever. With the wondrous power of darkness. <laughs> we have to fight her as a dragon already, man. Maleficent's the first boss you fight. Crazy, crazy, and she's the dragon. Well, the dragon we fought as Sora was actually like the easiest dragon ever in existence, so that's cool. Anyway, let's just fucking do this. This dragon ain't gonna be shit. I already know it. I mean, we're already limited in our deck anyway, so I mean, this should be relatively easy if I'm, as far as I'm concerned. Just fucking chop, chop away, baby. Chop away! Chop away! I mean, we don't have health or anything like that. Why don't, why don't we even bother with this? I just be using slides the whole time. Also, there is a weakness card. Owned. Wait, did I even use that right? I don't even know if I used that Mickey Mouse card right. Oh well, this battle's gonna be over before it matters anyways. I should probably be careful with the slight. Uh, anyway, we're gonna, we got this. This battle's over, son. Stop doing slides so I can actually finish winning this. And got him! Or her. That would be a her. It may be a dragon, but it's still a her. Level up? Maybe? No? No level up? We got that dragon card, though. Hell yeah. The dragon malficient. No level up? No level up. A sad story, brah. 
Oh, we're not done, of course. We got to... Oh, the black room. Wait, what? Are you going to make me actually go to the exit? The black room. There it is. Wow, usually it just leaves me in the Conqueror's Rest but automatically. But not this time around. No siree, Bob. All right, well... I don't know. Let's just keep going, I guess. I suppose we could just keep going. I mean... Eh. That's probably one episode right there. I mean, yeah. We'll call that an episode. All right, next episode on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. I'm not going to put all that in the title, but you know what you know which one it is because we're playing as Riku, baby. We're playing as Riku. In the next one, we go on to the next floor, which are we going in complete reverse order? I mean, without going to Twilight Town and all that, or maybe Twilight Town will be later, but like, you know what I mean? Without going to uh, the Destiny, oh, we might go there too. I guess we're just going to reverse order of the regular towns first. Hollow Bastion technically last, and then we'll go from there. I don't know. I'm going to stop talking now. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!